my first show ever was a total mess. I thought I knew everything. You couldn't tell me a thing. My makeup sweat off before I even started. And uh, you learn a lot. Hey there, my name's Will Rafi, uh, also known as Holly Cow. I grew up on this farm outside of Armprior and I'm the first drag queen of Armprior. Come on! I discovered RuPaul's Drag Race and that was my escape during COVID, binging Drag Race. That was pretty much like my first exposure to queer culture and what I had been missing out on like all those years. And so I didn't want to just watch the show, I wanted to find my community. And back in March that year, I, I knew I wanted to start drag. I wanted my drag to be a nod to growing up in the valley. I came up with Holly Cow with one of my best friends, Kate. We were just spitting names. And I think like, we were, I was like frustrated. I was like, holy cow, like I can't find a drag name. And then we were like, holy cow, Holly, ca Holly Cow. And that's kind of how it came about. The makeup process turning into Holly Cow, it's been quite the trial and error for the last two years. Um, I'm completely self-taught. I think what sets me apart from other artists in the city is I love, 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 love going out to the rural locations and just staying true to myself, staying true to why I started drag, which was to make queerness more accessible in small towns. Woo! There's no actual queer bar in our empire, but we always perform at Urban Angus on Elgin Street. And I also work with the Armpire Library and Ottawa Valley Coffee for drag story times. The first show that we had, um, to my surprise, my parents and siblings came to support the first show. Now that we're two years in, we have regulars that come every show. This is one of the only drag shows and safe spaces in the valley for just a few hours just to like get some relief, you know, and be surrounded by community. The reception is honestly, it's fantastic. But I think the most important thing that happens when I'm doing drag in communities that are less exposed to queer culture is it makes them ask questions. And growing up, I was taught if you're ready to ask the question, you're ready for the answer. And so a lot of my job as a artist is education and helping to explain and debunk like misconceptions about queer culture about being trans, about being queer. To help establish a safer community in my hometown is everything I didn't have growing up. Growing up queer in the Valley, it definitely was a very isolating and alienating experience. Not having the language to describe myself or like people I could go to. I often like describe my drag persona as the protector or healer of my inner child. You know, you can visualize it as hugging my child self. I don't want the kids growing up to experience what I did growing up. Trixie Mattel said it best, I'm gonna paraphrase. We don't want your kids to turn gay. We don't want your kids to turn trans. We don't want your kids to be drag queens. But what we want is we want your kids, if they are gay or trans, to have a much easier experience than we did growing up. And that is exactly how I feel.